3G is now coming to India. Big changes are expected. 3G will bring to India, along with high speed, the true experience of it being the first screen to India. In a country where 95% Indians made the first call through mobile phones, 12,000 cinema screens, 150 million television screens, but 650 million mobile screens, this is probably going to be the largest penetrated screen. At the end of the day, screen is a screen. But what makes this a different is that this is an interactive screen. So this screen is going to do killing time and the filling time for the Indians. In an information and infrastructure starved country, 3G is going to be a productivity tool, educational tool, healthcare tool, and it is also going to be an infotainment tool. So we see it as a great scope and future to give a level playing field to Indians with the 3G. A bit of historical perspective. I started private telephony in India in 1994 at a time when India had a population of 950 million people and about 25 to 26 million fixed lines. It was a time when a, when, a, when a girl got married or when she was 15 years old, there were two things that the family would book for her. One was a telephone connection and the other was a cooking gas connection so that by the time she was eligible for marriage, the waiting list was consumed and she could have these two things as part of her trousseau. That was the state of Indian telephony. But now... India is a young country. Uh, almost 60% of India's population is under the age of 35 and that makes it very, very exciting. So we decided to position our company as a pocket internet company. And that was a very catchy phrase which sort of caught, caught the imagination of the young people. And when you look at what Ericsson has to offer going forward in terms of data and the future LTE and 3G businesses, etc., again, you know, it seemed just automatic that we needed to take the help of a company that was very, very advanced in this area. And which is why, uh, you know, when you look at the whole 3G piece, you look at the young population, you look at data, um, you know, Ericsson was an easy choice to make. By January 2011, Ericsson will help Aircel launch 3G networks for subscribers in Aircel's six most populous and successful circles. Ericsson is uh, going to support us in the six circles. And the help that we have sought from Ericsson, and they have sort of more than extended, is that they will put us as a preferred partner see that we get supplies faster than we expect. And more importantly, with 3G, it's not a network rollout. It's going to be an experience rollout. And that's where we depend on Ericsson. Because this is a time for us to truly deliver quality. And along with that, all the innovations that Ericsson has got onto his equipment side, from the intelligent network side, is all going to come to us. So, so far, whatever discussions we have had gives us a lot of satisfaction and confidence that probably when, Air, when Aircell launches its 3G services backed on the Ericsson network, probably India is going to see some differentiation. Aircell is now the fourth operator to announce Ericsson as its 3G partner in India. Previous announcements were for Bharti Airtel, Idea and Vodafone. Given the number of circles we have secured in India, we have uh, secured the equivalent of our 2G footprint and it is going to be a huge uh, effort as we roll out these networks going into 2011. And you're happy about that. And I'm very happy about that.